Okay, everyone, we are going to take our project to the next level. This is Victor Campos in the HTML5 class. Last video, we looked at the example that we want to strive for, and you can look at it anytime you want. The address is vmcampos.com slash sdce. It's basically a mobile version of the college's website. So now that we have a goal, meaning what type of thing do we want to create and general content and such we can start to create it in Codica so you want to follow along and create something like this or you can create your own company project that'll be fine so um, looking at our interface uh, and if we go from screen to screen we see commonalities we see a header a nav bar content area and a footer those things are consistent some screens are a little bit different however if you go over to computers and you tap on any of these classes it switches over to a screen that notice there's no footer there is a header and then there's a back button but no nav bar so that's a unique page if you go back to the home page our pop-up window does not fill the whole screen does not have a footer and then under direction, something similar. This one does fill the screen, however, but it has no footer. So we have a few different types of interfaces to design. We can do it pretty quickly with Kodika. So here's how we'll start off. I'll drag a page header, set it to fixed mode, yes. You can change your color if you want, but I'll be using defaults most of the time. And later on, we'll talk about customizing your color completely. We want a nav bar. I'll put it inside of the header so that it doesn't waste the screen real estate. And I'll add two buttons. Now when we go from screen to screen, notice the screen the button highlights to sh let you know what the section you're under. So in order for me for for that to work for me, uh, I'm going to activate one of these buttons to say initially active yes just so that I have that bit of code that I can use as necessary you can add an icon if you'd like I'll just choose a few icons remember we can see the full list of icons over at jQueryMobile.com and I don't recommend getting very complicated at this point fully designing your project because as I said before this is a free tool that if you refresh your screen you lose everything if you go to another screen you lose everything so get so use this tool more to create something quickly and then download it to fully edit it in notepad notepad plus plus so we've got the header navbar let's drop in a footer make sure you drop it near the bottom of the screen so header footer I see some consistency in that there's always a top bit of text, perhaps some center text and other content. So that'll be a heading. I'll put a heading in there. I've got a picture. We'll borrow that picture code, but actually we'll change it extensively. Uh, when we download it, what we could do is select a line center as the property of the picture so it should center to the screen don't worry about putting the picture itself yet we'll deal with it later what else we've got this button that doesn't look like any like other buttons it's um it's just an icon but we'll drag an icon down we'll drag a button down here select the info button and then we'll have to manually convert that to make it look like our example what else do we have? On the other pages, we've got other types of widgets. The Kodika editor does not allow us to create multiple pages. We'll have to do that manually. Not a problem, though. What I do want, however, are the widgets so that I can use them as necessary. I'm going to need one of these collapsible elements. Drag collapsible. We're going to have four classes, so we'll add four sections on the computer screen this is a list view element so drag a list view 
careful where you drag it, that it's not in another element, that it's separate. So in my example, I've got the divider, a couple of buttons, a divider, a few more buttons. Might as well put all the pieces here. Saves us from typing. And, but we can, of course, edit it as we want. So obviously not all of these pieces will be on the home page, but I want the code when I download it. I'm not going to add any form elements just yet, so I'm done rapid prototyping. It's still not complete, but this is what I use this tool for. Build my project, download my project, and then continue to refine it. So very important, before the power goes out, click Download. Depending on your web browser, it may download right away. I'm using Google Chrome. Or your web browser might um, ask you where, do you, where would you like to save this? You can select your desktop, for example. I forgot to mention also, uh, this, uh, this Codica editor works best on a modern web browser, meaning the latest version of your favorite web browser. So if you use Chrome or Firefox, you should be pretty pretty safe. If you use an older version of Internet Explorer, it behaves a little bit differently. Uh, some users report that there's no download button if you use an old version of Internet Explorer. So update your web browsers to get the full results. Uh, I'm gonna go to my download folder. There's my project, Kodika app-139 whatever. Yours will be something else. Double click, and then inside of that zip file, you have the actual project, which you need to drag out of the zip file. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Right there, copy to desktop. And now I've got my mobile project, which in our next videos, we'll begin to edit and refine exactly how we want. So come back for that.